about um, Andy's adjustment in the fight? Andy's adjustment in the fifth round? Yes. Well, he just, he came out, you know, he's, obviously he was getting touched a little bit, but he didn't panic. He stood composed like he was supposed to and caught the kid when he was supposed to. He caught him with a nice counter, counter hook. What was going wrong in the rounds that Andy was, um, it appeared he was getting hit a little more than he should? I think, I think he got, he just got kind of stuck. I would say like stuck in the cement, like stuck in the mud. Like he wasn't letting his hands go. Like you just... I couldn't. I can't explain it. You know, we would have to ask. I, I kind of know what he was feeling like when he just didn't react. His there you go. His reaction wasn't there. For some reason, his reaction wasn't there. Like even in the first round where Andy was catching him and making him miss, miss a lot, he wasn't capitalizing on the on the shots. So. And who else do you got at your gym? Because I went there and it's a it's a real awesome facility. It made me feel like it was like a like just a boxing gym out of a book. Uh, um, well, I, of course, I got my son, uh, Gabriel Flores, he's on the USA team, he's ranked number one like three years in a row. I got uh, Brent Venegas, he's ranked number one, he just won right now in Miami against uh, Italy, I believe, Italy or India. Yeah, he's on his way, hopefully, to the 2016 Olympics. I got uh, Fernando Venegas, he's a two, three-time national champion. Angel Cordon Jr., he's a three-time national champion. Um, well, uh, Hector Madera, national champion. Uh, of course, Andy Vince is 10 and 0, six knockouts now, and he's still climbing, still improving. Um, so, yeah, and I got plenty more uh, young kids coming up. Why are you so good at coaching amateur boxing? Um, I love what I do. I love teaching the kids. Um, I'm a kind of a perfectionist. If you're not doing it right, it bothers me, and I'll tell you. Um, I, I, I just I love what I do. That's all I can say. Yeah. Last question: Can you explain to people why balance is so important in boxing? Balance is really important in boxing because uh, when you get a shot off, you need to be able to defend after the shot. If you miss a shot, you should be able to be on balance. If you step, you should be on balance. Anytime you move your feet, you should be able to get off, defensively or offensively. You should be ready to go, and every time you move your feet.